it has been a struggle. Getting back on my feet, finding employment. It's been a rough last three years. I'm harassed on the streets on a regular basis. I've been spit on, I've been slapped on the face, my glass has been broken. I've had somebody spray paint me with paint. I've had somebody post on social media that I should be shot to death. I've really changed and I am changing as we speak, a change that doesn't happen overnight. I live in a Christian faith-based home. I'm very involved with my church community. If I am sincere about wanting a change in life, I deserve a second chance. Coach Mike Baer is here. He's a very dear friend of mine. He's a life coach. He's the founder and CEO of Cast Centers. Uh, he's experienced and really loved by his clients, and he focuses on helping his clients break free of destructive patterns that aren't yielding results that they want. Uh, he's written a new book that's called Best Self, Be You Only Better. In fact, it is a New York Times bestseller and has really been having some major impacts. In fact, they're starting to adopt this into the school systems and working with school kids, teachers, the school kids' parents. I mean, this is really having an impact on our society right now. So congratulations on that, Mike. Thank you. Um, Coach Mike, I, I, I'm ultimately going to ask you to help and provide some, some services uh, for Michael here because I don't want to just bring him here and have him make what he considers to be a, a, an apology. I, I actually want to help turn this around. You have an interesting concept in best self, be only, you only better, and it's the contrast between best self and anti-self. Talk about that a little bit as it applies to Michael. Thank you, Dr. Phil. So when we talk about being your best self, it's who you truly are at your core, who you authentically are, um, which is honest, which is all those characteristics that you described yourself when you uh, got out of uh, being in jail. Your anti-self, I'm going to name it. We're gonna call it Lie Michael, or Lykel. How about that? <laughs> L-I-E-C-H-A-E-L. So Lykel is your anti-self, and that is the part of you that keeps getting you into trouble. And with you, it's gonna be really tough because uh, you don't really know your anti-self today. Um, it seems like you're pretty much ready to come clean, but you lack real insight into why you're doing what you're doing. And this part of you that keeps getting in the way of you being your best self. And so what we want to do is we want to start to understand the characteristics of, this, of what this is. Uh, we want to figure out where this all started from. You know, usually when people gain a little bit of insight, they start to have some light bulbs turn on. Unfortunately, so far, I haven't seen those light bulbs turn on for you. Michael, I think you're getting in your own way. When I looked at your apology tape, I, I have to tell you, I've spent a lot of my career in deception detection. And I, I went through here and saw clusters of lie behavior that are all through your apology tape. Um, some of these freeze frames we've pulled out, this steepling of your hands when you're, you're talking about what you want and how you want people to understand, this is one of the primary signs of arrogance that is, is communicated through body language. It's just blatant arrogance where somebody just sits back and says, well, just let me tell you. When you say, I want to be 100% Michael, when you say that, you're shaking your head no while you're saying it. It's awfully hard to manage all of the processes of your body, and this is unconscious. I don't think you're even aware of some of this. Mike, you're going to talk to him about what we have to do to get his anti-self out of the way so he can be honest, he can be truthful. 